Hello children, happy morning. Welcome to next session of English. Okay, today we are going to see an interesting topic which is apart from your textbook and this is going to be in your composition notes. The topic which we are going to see today is story writing. And this is not the new topic for you. You would have seen this topic already in previous classes. But what we are going to do now, it is something related to board exams. Okay. Uh, as a student of 9th standard, it is a very short period of time. Next year, you are going to be in your class 10, where you are going to write up here in your board exams. So, right now, this is the right time to utilize things and you can frame stories on your own. Shall we get into today's session then? Okay. Story writing. When you see the title story writing, let me know whether you are interested in doing it children. How many of you write stories? Uh, let me ask you in this way. How many of you write diary? Daily diary. If you are a good diary writer, then you can be a good story writer. Yes. And one more thing, children. If you read stories, if you read stories, if you see stories, if you listen to stories, you can write good stories and you can write creative stories. Yes. And how many of you can write stories out of imagination? As we have seen in uh, the movie Pasanga 2, which is enacted by Surya. You would have seen there, okay? Girl who creates stories of her own imagination. Yes, how many of you do have that habit of writing stories? To start with today's session, I am going to discuss some ideas how to write stories. And followed by that, I will give you a storyline. You have to continue writing that. Is it clear, children? Okay, let us get into today's session then. A very good interesting topic of today is story writing. Okay, let me give you some ideas here. When you write a story, what comes first children? The introductory part of a story plays an important role. What plays an important role? The introductory part of a story plays an important role. Why the introductory part plays an important role? As we know, when a reader reads your story or as a teacher, when I read your story, the introductory part is the one which holds my attention, which gets my attention. And that is what is going to make me read. And that will create an interest in me. So the introduction part, plays an important role and followed by that the plot how we are going to build the story how we are going to develop the story it has its own essence the way you develop your storyline it has its own essence it will never uh, make the readers to get diverted they will have no diversion when they read your story so, the development of plot here, it plays a vital role when you write a story. Introductory part, the plot, how we are going to build a story, how we are going to develop a story is very important. And finally comes the conclusion, the concluding part of the story. What is the concluding part of the story, children? Yes, you will write to the audience, you will write to the readers you will give a conclusion over there the end point of the story the concluding part of the story it should have a stable ending there it should have a stable ending so if these three ideas are good in your story then your story will be the best one yes i can give you assurance when you give a beautiful introduction and when you start developing the plot with good 
coherence and correlative words and finally when you conclude the story these three are the main elements which gives you which gives your story a best outlook if you are going to concentrate on these three areas you can write really a good story okay and few more tips i'll give you children how to write an introduction you will have a confusion in your mind how to write an introduction that is what we are going to see today now this is the first paragraph of the story in which i have something to tell you here there is a gap i have something to tell you and this is like a clue for you you can make a note of it in your classwork notebook in the introduction part what are the things that should be introduced yes come on would you guess anything over here what you have to introduce here in the introduction part yes your guesses are right children you have to introduce the character and you have to introduce the time time plays an important role the tense which you are going to use and how you are going to build the story that plays an important role and the place the settings so in the first paragraph that is we don't call it as first paragraph children in the introductory part in few lines of the introductory part you are going to introduce the character time and place so when you introduce the character and when you introduce time and place you have to be very careful yes the way you introduce the character's time and place it will just attract the audience it will just attract the reader once if you fail to do that your story is of nothing so give a catchy introduction and next comes plot in this area of plot the way you are going to develop your story and how we are going to develop it how we are going to create it that plays an important role for example you can take it like if you are going to write a thriller story the essence of thrill should not miss anywhere when you develop the plot and if you feel that the essence of thrill is going to miss out the plot could not be developed you can see the plot is the main part of a story to be very clear children the plot is the main part of a story and when you write the story or when you develop the story the story should have a good coherence you are new to the word coherence no you are not new to the word coherence coherence means there should be a continuity in points what should be there there should be a continuity in points and next hence it must be developed with utmost care listen to this word children it should be developed with utmost care okay so the plot is the main part of the story and hence it must be developed with a utmost care if you don't if you are going to be careless over there your story will not have a good crux in it your story will not have a good element in it you'll miss that element so i have told you how the introductory part should be and followed by that i have told you how you have to develop your plot since plot plays the main part of a story it should be developed with utmost care okay and next the writer must ensure the sequence of events i told you a word no coherence that is called as sequence of events one after the other the writer must ensure it what is called ensuring children the writer must be careful about it how he is going to write the story in which way he is going to write the story and how he is going to bring all the elements list of elements list of events 
you should be careful so next comes conclusion conclusion in this part you could see that the conflicts are resolved what is the meaning of the word conflict children conflicts okay there will be some clash in the story and you could find some problems in the story all these problems should come and should come to an end sorry all these problems should come to an end and here you could see a word called resolved okay resolved it is similar to the word solved and the story must conclude with a clarity see this is very important children the story must get concluded with a clarity if there is no clarity in your story then the reader will not have interest the reader will not get the satisfaction over there in order to satisfy the readers there should be a clarity in thoughts there should be a clarity in thoughts in the mind of the writer and that clarity you can see that it is reflected in the story and it is transferred to the minds of the reader once the writer has the clarity in thought it is reflected in a story and thereby it is transferred to the minds of the reader introduction plot and conclusion these are the areas your story has to be good and next to this when you have all these ideas clear what we are going to discuss now is from your board exam point of view i would like to give you some tips and i'll tell you some ways how to score good marks in story writing because in section b you have writing and grammar in writing part you have story writing in story writing if you are going to have all these ideas portrayed when you are going to design your ideas in this way it will help you to score good marks Are you ready to join with me children are you ready to listen to me what i'm going to tell you yes hope so you are taking down all these things in your classwork notebook and you are going to continue it will you continue children we are going to discuss something very important from the board point of view board exam point of view shall we do it now okay let us get into the tricks of how to get good marks in 